happy monday woo, woo. monday february 28th <laughs> there is so many great things happening you guys the yes. energy is palpable oh oh dogs are excited too i think that was moose <laughs> that was moose moose the dog okay so hey we got a lot to do but who has something they want to share right away something that happened in the last week donnie go and then trace <laughs> um well let's see i had a 700 hundred dollar week and a new team member whoop, whoop. wow new qualified team member cast yes Leslie. yes congratulations. congratulations donnie yes thank you lady awesome week awesome trace reconnected with an awesome client who has been in my life but has gone elsewhere because of a family member in Mary Kay um, reached out to me and so now I'm getting together with her and her and her sister so I sold her her original timewise set she's like still love timewise but my sisters whoever in the family is no longer doing Mary Kay so my point is never keep what we do a secret because they come back. Yes. So I yes. always told her, I said, do you remember what I said to you? I told you I'm a lifer. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> lifers. Yeah. Bunch of lifers on this page. That's for sure. I love it. Congratulations, Trace. Megs and then Steph. So last week I had a Facebook live party on Thursday, which was fantastic. And then Saturday night, I went to our parish auction and I got to see a whole bunch of people that I've not seen in forever. And I now have four new people um, who want to get together with me and do facials and color. I wore this lipstick because um, it said when all else fails, wear red. So we did. And it was fantastic. So I'm really excited because um, my auction basket went um, quite over quite well. And so now that we've got a bunch of people who are going to get together and we're going to probably do a party all together. So I'm excited. Yes. I love it. In person. I think so. Yeah. Cause yeah. we had so much fun in yes. person at the event on Saturday that we're all missing each other. So I think we're going to do it in person. Yes. Yes. I love it. Steph G. I got a new uh, client from my website. He called me on Friday and said, hey, do you have the extra mole and night cream? I need it for my hands. They crack. Oh. Like, yes, I have my last bottle. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> Met him an hour later at the, my grandparents' gas station and said, here you go. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. That's customer service, right? <laughs> that is customer service. I love it. Congratulations, Steph G. All right, we're going to move on, okay, you guys? We're going to welcome new team members. We've got tons of recognition we're going to do. We're going to talk about the value of the starter kit. Cece's going to do some things too. We're going to do a ton of recognition. I got all kinds of stuff printed because we got so many people that are on fire doing great things. It is very, very exciting. Thank you for spending your Monday night, the last day of the month with us. Holy macro. Cece, do you want to go next? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, couple things. First, you guys, welcome. Happy Monday. And I'm so excited. And as we continue to um, uh, add and welcome in and welcome back consultants to our Zoom Zoom unit meetings, you guys know we have so much fun. It's so much cooler than a meeting for the record. And we are professional and sharp. And so we thank you for um, your help with making that sharp, you guys. We appreciate your well-lit faces and smiling faces. And um, of course, we are interactive as heck and love your comments. And we would just ask that you remain muted while there's a speaker. Um, I think that's it for the housekeeping. Thank you guys for keeping us sharp and professional. And I love, love, love how much it makes us stand out. So I love that about our Courage Nation. And um, quick shout out to, now I know that we had our um, Galentine's Day event, um, which was so much fun. And we had that very um, uh, focused on the Mary Kay opportunity and our lip products and how they work together. But I just wanted to welcome again and quickly shout out um, one of our very new team members, the fabulous Nikki Beasley out in Arkansas, down in Arkansas. And she has the cutest accent and she's the best. Uh, and she's a mom of four and new team member of the fabulous April Austin and well on her way to a successful first order. So congrats, Nikki, on a great, great 
um, launch last night, right? Last night, the last two days have been so fun. So really quick, I told her what I might ask her. What excited you to say yes, Nikki? And what do you love about working with April? Uh, I love April just because she's always there. She's checked in with me every day since I was signed up. And I'm excited just to help continue to um, encourage and empower women. And I got my first order today from my mom. Yes, yes, yes. Who used to be a consultant, right? Yes, my mom was a consultant back when I was a teenager. And she just placed her order today. Not what she wanted, but it is a start. Great, great. I love it. We are so excited for you, Nikki. Thank you. Super excited to have you as part of our RISE unit. And you guys, Nikki is sharp and just a really great woman. Woman, So I'm really excited to be working with you, Nikki. Thanks for being on. We appreciate you. Let's give her the jazz hands, you guys, so she can see it and give her all the love, all the love. Look, I got the red pom-pom out for you too, <laughs> Nikki. All the love. We got all the love. Congratulations, Nikki. Congratulations, April. I know she's a dear friend of yours. Congratulations. Nikki, check out the screen. Everybody's giving you hearts and love. And <laughs> we have also brand new Cassie Leslie is joining us tonight. And she's Dawn's new team member. And she is also a young mother of three and has quite a bit happening at her home right now. So we said, you know, we get it. We totally get it. Cassie, are you able to say anything? She went, uh, coming back. Coming back? Yes, maybe? <laughs> there you are. Cassie, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yay! Okay. Okay. okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bye. we're going to figure this stuff out, I promise. Um, Cassie, can you please tell us we're welcoming you in front of all of your new friends and family. Can you please tell us what excited you about the opportunity? Uh, I would say the freedom of uh, being able to be flexible and doing it on my own time, because like you said, I have a lot going on. I'm very, very busy. I do also you know, have a nine to five job like I do and I have the three kids. So it's a lot. It's a lot and she's making it work, right? Yeah, trying to most definitely. I'm starting. Um, it's, it's a lot to learn, but I have fantastic help from you ladies. So it's, it's, it's going pretty well. Yes. Yes. We had such an awesome conversation last night with Cassie and Dawn. So good. And Cassie, I, I want to give you props again in front of your Mary Kay family. Three kids, single mom, works full time, gets them to daycare, gets them to school, does all the things, comes home at night, does all the things, all the things by herself, does it all. And she wants a house for those three kids. And we were talking about where and what it's going to look like and what she's doing. And I told her we've got single moms that um, on in our Mary Kay family also, we have current and former so Cassie, so you know tonight, Maggie Fortman, Maggie, give her a wave so Cassie can see you, is a current single mom. You already know I'm a former one. Rhonda Deaver, this hot shot magenta down there, is also a former one. So you have two on here right now. Trace, were you ever a single mom? Okay. Um, my mother, my mother, hello. My <laughs> mother, my mother was a single mother of me. Yes. Okay, Cassie, you're surrounded. You're surrounded. And these are just the gals that are on here tonight. So you've got more Mary Kay family that is around you that is current or formers. And girl, we are here for you. Oh, Nikki is too. Was. Was too. Great. Okay. So we're surrounded. You're surrounded, Cassie. We got you. We got you. Okay. Great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, we're going to give a shout out to Rachel Yerk. We're going to give her a shout out, um, who also is unable to join us tonight, nor is her recruiter, Kirsten, because Kirsten's son is having his football bank or football. No, that's my kid's sport. Uh, swim, swim banquet tonight, <laughs> swim banquet. And she's like, I'll try and leave early. I'm like, Kirsten, one senior swim banquet, many Mondays. You're fine. Go to the banquet, do your thing. You'll be fine. 
And uh, so she's excited because Rachel is her also new qualified team member. So um, Kirsten has one new qualified team member this month. Dawn has one new qualified team member this month for the MAC unit. Yeah. And Cece, what do you got going in the RISE unit? You've got more. Yes, so April has two new team members this month and those two ladies are working on their um, orders and qualifying orders in the coming days. Excellent, excellent. More Mary Kay family, we love it. Okay, all right, <laughs> next. Um, how about some more recognition? Should we do it? Let's do it. All right, great, because you guys, we've got a lot of people doing a lot of things. And so first we're gonna talk about being um, powered by pink achievers this month already pop achievers. We like to call those. Did I say powered by pink? Yeah. That's what the company says, but we call you pop achievers because it sounds better. Oh, it's the power of pink powered by pink. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> all the pink things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to recognize, first of all, the beauty consultants that have one month already down from January. Dawn Zabel. Did I say it right? Zab. Zab. Zabel, Zabel like Zabler. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Dawn Zabel, Debbie Miller, um, Harley Hawk. 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 <laughs> and April Austin. Okay, CCS people's names I don't know yet. Okay, yep. <laughs> congratulations to those ladies. They did it in January, so they are on target to do it for the two months for the spring challenge, which is going to go through June. And now let's recognize those consultants who've already done it for two months so far already. Rhonda Deaver, Sandy Stickland, Katie Sikorsky, Whitney Schleyline, Steph G, Maggie Fortman, Kristen, Kristen Collins, my Kirsten, Kim Brennan on um, Sandy's team, and Dory Anderson. Congrats, ladies. You are on target for the, the consistency. That is awesome. I am digging it. I'm digging it. Pop Achievers this month, raise your hand so we can already give you a shout out also already. Dory, Thanks. Steph. Dawn, Megan. Rhonda, Trace, B Rad. What are you saying, Cece? Megan too. She forgot. Megan, Cassie, <laughs> um, Kim Brennan. Okay. Maggie, did I say them all? There's a bunch. I know. I'm like checking my thing. There's a bunch. It's great. <laughs> Rachel, did I say her? I didn't say her. Rachel Yerk. Then on, on Kirsten scene. Okay, there's a bazillion pop achievers. Woo! Okay, now you guys, we're gonna recognize on target stars because holy buckets, you guys, what a quarter. Okay, the new spring products, the new spring products, the new spring products, the new spring products. <laughs> you have to have every lipstick in your purse and you have to start making combinations because I am digging that. And I need you guys to know, because I was holding this a secret, like the true dimensions, they used to bother my lips. The skincare didn't agree with me. And I don't know why it never did. It never did. It never did. So I would wear them for like an hour and show them off. And then I put them away. And these, these new lipsticks, what are they even called? Anyway, hydrating. I, that's just the name of them. Hydrating, hydrating lipstick. lipstick. Yeah. That's simple. Simple. Well, fine. <laughs> Fine. You guys, the only one I haven't wore yet is the better than bear or better than there or yours, but there or bear. Or... <laughs> better than bear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I will try it, you guys, because you know, I'll try it because I know I should try it, but that's not my jam. And I'm at an interesting age where you don't want your lips to disappear. You want them to be bright and cheery, you know? Um, so Man, you guys are rocking it with getting the spring products. These lipsticks, oh, they're so good. Okay, we're gonna recognize those of you that have 600 wholesale in or more and beyond. So when you hear your name called, just like go like this or something and wave, okay? So recognizing 600 wholesale or more um, in towards your star, remember 1800 wholesale or more by March 15th and you are a star this quarter with 600 exactly, Cassie Leslie, then we've got Debbie Miller, Harley. How? 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 H O U K. How? Okay, awesome. We got Megan, who says her last name is not a mean anymore. At least Cece says her name's not a mean anymore, but that's how I know her. And that's how she's in the printer. Okay. And then, still with 600, Maggie Sherwin, Angela Keenast, and 
Alicia Clark, Rachel Yerk. Look at all of those girls with 600 or more. Then 700, Ashley Zelly, Jen Gurry, 800 or more, Kelly Strasser, um, Stephanie Lazars, 900 or more, B Rad, 1200 or more, Dawn Zabel. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love me. Okay, yeah. 1200 or more, Rhonda Deaver, Steph G, Maggie Fortman. 1300 or more, April Austin, Don Emanuele, already Sapphire Star, Kim Brennan, and Katie Sikorsky, already Sapphire Star, and only 297 away from Ruby, Whitney Schleyline. Wow. Sapphire Star, and 223 away from Ruby, Sandy Stickland, Dory Anderson at Diamond, and already Emerald my new team member, Kirsten Collins. Woo. You guys, this wow. is coming together. <laughs> CC and I are in there too, but it doesn't tell me what we are. So you just know your directors are awesome. Okay. And then um, on target. Okay, you guys, per quarter, quarter sales and quarter recruiting. Okay. So quarter personal sales for the year, which ends December 30th, because we have new people on here. Is that Brittany Schneider that's on there? Yeah. Brittany Schneider. Bah, 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 bah. Okay. That's an easy name to do that with. Okay. Now these gals. Okay. So court of sales, all right. For your unit for court of sales for year end, July 1 to June 30th is 10,000 retail or more. Okay. Princess court recognized by the company is 20,000 retail or more and national court of course, is 40,000 or more, okay? But this is based on your wholesale times two plus any bonuses. So Cassie Leslie, we're gonna use you as an example because you're brand new. So Cassie, you placed a $600 wholesale order even, which was $1,200 in retail product, correct? Correct, you don't have to, oh. yes. Okay, she even got to answer me already. Okay, <laughs> 1,200 retail, but Cassie, you got bonuses. You got the new consultant look for ordering in your first 15 days. In fact, she put her order in in like two days. I could barely get her welcome picture done and her order was already in. And then <laughs> Cassie, you got that bundle. So Cassie earned $354 in free retail product. So Cassie, according to the company, you have over $1,500 in retail sales into the company already. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you guys. This is why bonuses for our new team members are such a big deal. Rachel earned that too. Kirsten is at an emerald. So Kirsten earned bundles upon bundles upon bundles. So see, in their great starts qualified, you guys, it keeps counting. Okay. Okay. So we're going to recognize those of you that are 5,000 or more, which means you're at least halfway to your, uh, to your unit court, okay? With 54.93, Ashley Zelly coming in hot. 55.46, April Austin in the rise unit. And then we're gonna jump up. So 7,010, Maggie Sherwin with the best picture that looks like she's on the screen <laughs> ever yep. made. <laughs> the one in the window. It is the best picture, Maggie Sherwin, ever. Okay, she's raising her hand, and I'm guessing that she's giggling also because she's a giggler. Okay, so Maggie Sherwin at seven thousand and ten. <laughs> Moving up, Kirsten Collins, brand new consultant, seventy three forty six. Dawn Zabel in the Rise Unit, seventy nine eighteen. Then we're gonna jump, jump. Kelly Strasser in the Rise Unit, eighty one oh two. Then we're going to jump, jump some more. B Rad 96 94. Congratulations, B Rad. And you know, the higher we go, the closer we like to get, because I know how you girls like to run those races right next to each other, <laughs> right next to each other, just like the race cars. They're like pushing and bumping and going along the sides and pushing and bumping and just not, not knocking anybody. Um, you know, into the center of the track though. Okay, good. All right, Donnie Manuelli, 10,600 officially over on target for Princess Court. Steph G, 11,006, congratulations. Right behind you, of course, is Maggie Fortman, 11,647. Woo, jumping again, 
Rhonda Deaver, 12,953. We're going to jump again. Whitney Schleyline, 13,348. Katie Sikorsky, right above you at 13,611. Jump, jumping again. Sandy Stickland, 16,172. Carrie Faber, tell me it's Faber. It is Faber. Okay, great. In the rise unit, 17,028. Holy mackerel. And then number one on target, National Court and beyond, your queen of the world, Dory Anderson with 26,583. Holy buckets. <laughs> yeah. You guys are amazing. That's almost every face on this screen getting recognized. I mean, come on. Yes. All right. Quarter recruiting. Okay. This one is the screwiest, goofiest report, you guys. Okay. It's like, huh. okay. So first of all, it's not very big. So we need to make it bigger. Okay. You guys, <laughs> we need more qualified team members. We've got two on here right now. Two brand new ones. Okay. You guys, we love our new Mary Kay family, don't we? Isn't it exciting to see when our Mary Kay family comes on here and they're new and we're like, yes, yes, we get more Mary Kay family, okay? We get really, really excited about new Mary Kay family. Now, some of you, I'm going to give you an example, like B-Rad has two new qualified, congrats B-Rad, but she has three total for the year because some of you might remember, I don't know, May of 2021, I don't know if you remember May of 2021 or not, but that was a double recruiting month where whatever you did in May, they gave it to you for the following year. So B-Rad was smart to jump on that last May. So she actually has three qualified for the year because they gave her a bonus. So she has two real people for this year, but she's got a bonus person. Okay. Thanks for reminding me of that because you recently <laughs> said my number and I'm like, hi, I wonder who that mystery person yes. was. Okay, yes. <laughs> B-Rad, because I looked at it and said the same thing. Because it's not just you, because I'm like, how can these people have qualified team members, but not have any commission earned from them yet this year? And so it's not just you. It's also Ashley Zelly has one qualified. Jill Kubit has one qualified. Savannah Fisher has one qualified. All that were new people from last year that they gave a bonus to. Okay. And then... Um, two people not yet qualified, but two new team members is Whitney Schleyline. And then two brand new, April Austin. I know those two are going to be qualified brand new. And then with new official qualified team members, Donnie Manueli has one, Kirsten Collins has one, Carrie Faber has one, Sandy Stickland has one. Um, so leading the way with qualified team members is B-Rad because of that bonus one that you got from last year, B-Rad. Okay. So, and then of course your directors were right up there because that's what we do. Cause our goal is to always be leading in the units with new team members. So we do, we just don't count in your competition. Okay. So a lot of new people, but we need many more new people because there are so many people, you guys, the new people, listen, they love us, right? They love us because we're quality human beings that care about people. I told Cassie with her training the other night, thank you, Cece. I'm like, you know what? I said, Cassie, you're gonna learn that with all of our conversations and all the training that we do, we care about developing the person first. Beauty consultant comes after that. Develop the person first, and then all of that other stuff comes together. It doesn't matter if you can sell a million dollars and you don't know how to communicate to somebody or be a good mom, right? Who cares what a great seller you are if you don't know how to, you know, conduct a conversation in real life with somebody and make them feel better, right? Mm -hmm. We need these powerful people. Okay, I just have to take a sip of my tea, just for a second. Here's up your tea. What kind of tea do you have tonight? You'll have to tell us. Oh, uh, it's the um, cucumber white. Ooh, that sounds yeah. good. Pazos cucumber white. I absolutely love it. <laughs> okay, now you guys, now we're going to recognize, oh, mm, it's not in front of me, but I, I'm good at making it up. Okay. <laughs> We're going to recognize our senior consultants and above. So, Cease, take me off for a second. And those of you that are senior consultants with one active, okay, 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 I got this, I got this, I got this, because I have pictures. <laughs> We're going to recognize our senior consultants, first of all, because guess what? Seniors and above are getting recognized at, <laughs> BRAD's on my screen.
What you're what? on mine. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. But you were on mine. Okay. That's so funny. Okay. So you guys, all right. So senior consultants, senior consultants. Okay. Seniors. One new, you have one active team member. Okay. Carrie Faber, prize unit. Okay, is that right so far? Jill Kubit, Rise Unit, as of today. One, new, one. One. One, yes. Okay, she's not on here because that was to just today, later yes. today, after yes. I printed it. Okay, great. Okay, congratulations okay. to our seniors with one active. Okay, that is awesome. Then, Kirsten Collins, new senior consultant, Maggie Sherwin, Rhonda Deaver, Dina Puccinelli in the, Puccinelli in the MAC unit, senior consultants. Congratulations to our seniors. Okay. Then our super seniors, breaths, breaths away from being red jackets. Okay. Super senior. They have two active Katie Sikorsky, Whitney Schleyline, and Donnie Manueli. Congratulations. Now, is what's recording on my screen what's going to show up later? Yeah. Okay. Because it was a B red and now it's you, but okay, that's fine. Because you're on speaker view. I am? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, gallery. Okay. There you go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> B red still teaching me things two years into this. Yes. Um, <laughs> good. I'll just be a lifelong learner. Can I just say that? Is, why, is that why I'm a lifelong learner? Because it takes me so long to learn something? <laughs> See, Cassie Leslie, I give you hope. I told you. I told you I don't know it all. Okay. <laughs> Mac unit. No. Um, all Courage Nation Reds. All Courage Nation Reds. Kelly Strasser, back in red as of today. Booyah. B Rad, star team builder, and a thread of red because Kelly Strasser is hers. Congratulations, B Rad. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Andy Stickland, star team builder. Maggie Fortman, team leader. Woo -woo! five personal active and then creme de la creme because the the woman just will not quit elite team leader dory <laughs> anderson six personal active team members and a red jacket on her team congratulations grandma queen dory nanny of the world love it you guys she loves competition so if you want to run with her she loves it she loves competition she loves running she loves, loves, loves it. So you guys, so run with Dory Anderson. She doesn't even run that fast. She's just, <laughs> she's just really good. She's just really good. So like if you started running next door, you'd probably pass her. She's just really good at what she does. Right, mom? <laughs> I look at other grandmas too. And I'm like, wow, my mother's skin is amazing. Oh, show. Sure. Yeah. Oh, show. Okay. You guys. So how about that for some exciting recognition? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, Peace. What else do we have? You got some more announcements? Um, I think we kind of covered that with stage recognition at career conference, which is great. Um, yeah. yeah. Now we've got some new products to talk about. Okay. Awesome. Who is talking about something right now? Is that the fabulous Steph G? The fabulous stuff G is ready and prepared to chat some boosters. Great, great. Steph G, talk some boosters because I love continuing to learn about these. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so I've been using both of them uh, morning and night because I just got these Friday. So yes. fairly new with them. Um, I found with the C, and forgive me, I am still slaughtering this name as I say it. <laughs> Resveratrol. Um, Thank you. Yep. <laughs> um, this one I have to add instead of like eight drops, I do have to add like one or two extra just because my skin absorbs it so quickly. So it's not, it, it does what it says, but my skin just absorbs it so quick that I need more of it. Um, so what I did was before I started these on Friday, I did take a before picture in the um, skin analyzer app. Yeah. So I had an idea of what was there. So I'm going to wait like two, three weeks before I take another picture yeah. to see what it does. Yes. And then um, the HA plus ceramide hydrator. Mm -hmm. um, I use this too after I do this one. 
Yep. Just because this one that seems like it sucks it in, but then my skin feels a little dry. So this here will like re basically rehydrate it right away. Mm -hmm. so it feels really good. And I've got, it gives me a shine, but that's not <laughs> bothersome to me at all. A glow, a glow. Yep. <laughs> I'll go with that. Nice. <laughs> nice. But this it's one I don't have to use. This, this one I don't have to use as much. I don't have to um, for the HA plus ceramide. I only have to use maybe the six um, drops and that's about it. I don't have to use very much after that. So now I want to see um, tonight's retinol night. So I'm going to try retinol first and then these little guys after it. Yes. Love it. Okay. Yeah. And your skin is retinized. Mm -hmm. So you can use both, both safely. Yep. Because if you're not retinol first, then add these in after the fact, after your eight weeks is done, then go ahead and start supplementing them in. Yes. Yes. I have such a great clinical solutions testimonial for you guys. Um, all right. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Steph G. Booster Basics. All right. Um, and hyaluronic acid is one of the things that's in the HA plus ceramide hydrator. And that is so huge right now. Everybody wants, everybody wants hyaluronic acid. You guys, we've had it in so many things for so long. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the world is like, we have this in all our stuff. And people are like, do you have that? I'm like, yeah, we've had it forever because we're awesome. <laughs> so whenever you hear somebody say, you know, there's a certain ingredient that they're looking for, look up our stuff. Cause you know, remember on product central, you can go right to the ingredient list and you can check and see what products have those ingredients. Okay. I need to, you guys, I need to give you my clinical solutions, retinol testimony right now. So I need you to, to see me. And I had this conversation with Dawn Emanuele last week. Okay. So first of all, thank you, Mexico. I'm beige N210, which makes <laughs> me very happy because I feel so much psychologically better, you guys, when I'm tan, period. I feel better. <laughs> so if I feel better, everything else feels better on me too. Okay. So here's my... Here's my little testimonial for you on using retinol clinical solutions for over a year. So since September of, when did it come out? Oh, I fall. think it came to us in early September of 2020. Yeah. September of 2020. So that's how long I've been using it. Okay. Now I shared with you, I believe like last fall or whatever, that I actually didn't use as dark a foundation last year because I was not covering up spots. I was just evening out my skin tone. I was using beige N190 when I was tan. And then I went down to N150. Well, I'm using N210. And you might be thinking, Lisa, that's darker. Why is it that you are using a darker foundation? Hello, you guys. It is simply the dark color of my tone from being in Mexico. It is not covering up a bunch of spots. So I was having this conversation with Dawn last week at the beauty bar and she's like, you just look like you have little um, sun kisses, not licks all over your face. <laughs> like little angel kisses, she said, not licks. So <laughs> I thought that was awesome and very funny and very cute. So um, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that I have like light freckling because obviously I was in the tropics, mm -hmm. but I don't have, which I used to have really dark spots. I don't have them anymore. Yeah. So I'm using clinical solutions all along. I only use it. You guys like, I probably only use it once a week now. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I do add, I am adding the, the, the ceramid hydrator hydrator. That's the one that I'm using right now. Okay. So you can use both. That's just the one I'm choosing to use right now. Okay. I really don't have deep wrinkles. So maybe I'll add that one later, but you guys, I'm turning 55. I got a lot of stuff to put on the night. <laughs> when people ask you me, what do I use? All of it. I use everything. I use every single product we make, all of it, every night, all the things. That's why it takes me an hour to get ready for bed. <laughs> okay. Um, then. We're going to go back to the lipsticks, okay? Because I cannot get over these lipsticks. I want you guys to hold up again the one that you have on, okay? 
um, because they are, oops, oh, shoot, you guys, I'm good at dropping things. Um, that one, what did, what did I do with it? <laughs> um, who, all right, unmute if you have a new one and we need to show everybody what it is. So spot, Cece, can you spotlight some of these people? Spotlight Maggie with her um, Rockstar Red. Let's see it, Megs. Rockstar love Red. It. Maggie, what do you love about the new formula? Oh, I love that it is so smooth and the pigment stays on really well without coming off. And I don't need a gloss over it like I used to because I like, I like it when it's slippery. So I don't know. I just, I like the way it feels. And I love that when I'm done, <laughs> When I'm when I take it off, my lips feel like I've had moisture stick on it, which is what I use on my lips all the time. Mm -hmm. So yes. they're just really, I don't know, they just feel really good. So it. yep. Thank and you. And I love the colors. And have you mixed them yet? Nope, because I'm still trying them all separately first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. I can't wait to see what you mix together. Um, who else? That's G, Wick, Tracy, yeah. Okay, show them all, Cece. Put them, put, put, put these people up there with their lip colors. All right, Steph Steph G, G, what's that? Mine is festive pink. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Um, all right, keep going, Cece. Just keep popping them on and off there with their, because I love seeing their. Oh, what do you got, Nan? I have the red, rock and red. But I used a Rockstar dark, dark nude lip liner. Mm. Oh, okay. So it makes it a little deeper. Yes. Otherwise, it was a little bit neon on Dory. <laughs> right. Is it called Rockstar? Is it Rockstar? Rockstar Red, Nanny. Rockstar Red. Yes. Okay. Love it. Who else? Wait. Whitney. Yes. I am using uh, today wearing the Fuchsia Dream. That is great on you. Thanks. I like it. It's um, it's more red than pink on me. I haven't tried the other pinks. I'll be interested to see how those look. Yes. Now, Cece, show me next because we both have the same lip color on and, uh, and Whitney is obviously very uh, ivory. And I was going to say very, there we go. Okay. She is very her light is brighter too. <laughs> yes. And her light is brighter. Yes. And I have on the, the warm tone on mine. So we both have on fuchsia dream. Now I have on a red tap. So of course it would look different if, if I didn't. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Okay. You guys, you got to try them all. Oh my gosh. Just try them all. Okay. Who else? Um, Jenny's ready. Jenny, show us what you got. Oh, I have the casual rose on. Yes, casual rose. Every woman should have that in her purse. I love. And I've also tried the boho plum, and I love that one too. I was gonna say with your complexion, and I know you love your purples. Oh yes. yeah. <laughs> yes, casual rose with purple. Absolutely love yes. it. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you, Jenny. Who else? Trace. Yep, and I've got um. I have got casual rose on as well. Yes. And guys, true story. I had to change my purse to a bigger purse because seriously, I have six colors in my purse. Yes. I'm going to Florida tomorrow. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not leaving any of these. I have to figure out which ones I'm going to pack in my suitcase. Cause I figure if I go through the check, they're going to be like, <laughs> what? I don't want to exceed the, whatever the limits are. Oh, no, I, I would carry them all on. Oh, yeah. There's no limit for lipstick. We know. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm That's doing awesome. It. I love casual rolls on you, too. And see how different they look on everybody, you guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. I was thinking Jenny and I have similar coloring, and I have the boho plum, too. I almost felt like I'm admiring those of you that have the fuchsia and the rock and red, and I'm like, oh, I got to get bolder with those lips. Yeah, definitely. We're known in the Midwest for not having bold lips, so let's do it. Let's do it. All right, and Cece, what are you wearing? You had on the 
Oh, yeah. So I actually did do a mix. So I was wearing a light nude liner with the um, coral confetti. And then I actually put um, pink ballerina gloss on top of it. I opened a new gloss, but it was a little light. So then I did a quick lick of um, the pink one that I think festive pink that Steph was wearing. But I'm a little dry, so I need to get some, I need extra help. <laughs> But it's really nice. I love the pinks. And Boho Plum is definitely one of my new faves. For sure. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I've already been mixing them and I love mixing them, you guys. And I am telling you, you could sell two lipsticks, a minimum of two lipsticks to everybody. And then they use one and they use one and then they can mix them together. So the other day I did Coral Confetti, but I'm really super tan, right? Which I'm going to keep saying because I'm very proud of that. <laughs> and um, I put Festive Pink over the coral confetti and that also looked really amazing so you guys i'm encouraging you to mix them use different liners so tonight i did light nude i'm also going to encourage you guys to tell people to use the age fighting lip primer and lip liners and switch it up i did the the coral lip liner with the coral confetti and that really punches up the coral or you could do light nude with the coral confetti and that just keeps it pretty natural too you saw like Dory did medium nude with the uh, Rockstar Red, and that makes it a little bit deeper. And then Maggie didn't do it. And those two are very similar coloring. Those two have very similar facial coloring. They're both very ivory. Um, you can see with Maggie, it stayed brighter red. So yeah, you guys totally mix them up. Seriously. Um, I had one of my clients put on the Boho Plum, which looked stell stellar on her. And then like, then we put one of the, the fuchsia dream over the top just to see what it would do. And it just brightened it up and it was just, ah, it was just gorgeous. So I'm going to really encourage you guys to mix them. And I mean, okay, I'll try the barely there one and I'll show it to you guys. That's not the name of it. It's not the name of it. Better than bear. Better than bear. Okay. I don't know if I believe that for, <laughs> for me, but okay, but we'll try it. I, I want to see it on you. I do. Okay. I'll put it on. Um, I'll do it. Um, so that, uh, I mean, like I've officially been using all eight of them and I keep opening my own samples because I too carry it around and Tracy, my best friend took my lipsticks out of my purse and stole them. So then I had to get more and how rude, um, <laughs> like order them yourself. She's like, yeah, but you, you're right here and here it is. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Um, place an order. Um, yeah. So people are digging them like yeah like i tell everyone about casual rose no matter what i'm like this you have to have this in your purse no matter who you are so and i'm going to encourage you guys too to make sure you've got like different um skin tones and hair colors and eye colors trying them out okay all right we're gonna move on oh my gosh we have a very exciting month to finish and i know some of you guys are still closing sales and doing all the things so we're going to run through the March calendar real quick. You'll get, you'll get this somewhere, but you guys just let's put it all on here. Okay. Um, uh, Saturday at 9 a.m. We have our level up, which is the first Saturday of the month. Um, that's from nine until 10. That is for anybody who wants more from their business, more, more, more. They want to be more, do more, have more, be more. The next one after that is 9 a.m. Saturday, April 2nd. Okay. Saturday the 5th after the level up, if you are available to come to my home for new consultant makeovers in your local, that would be awesome. Cassie's local, Kirsten's local, Rachel's local, uh, lo <laughs> local, no, local. <laughs> local, I don't think she's crazy. Um, <laughs> and then if you are a seasoned consultant and you want a new consultant makeover, you can come over too. Um, so that'll be at um, 11 a.m. at my house on Saturday. Then next Monday, Zoom, the 7th, we're going to be Zooming again, and it's the final four. We're going to talk about all whatever March programs Mary Kay comes out with and how we're wrapping up our final four months. The 9th is Peek into Pink, Zoom. This is Cece and I talking about the Mary Kay opportunity. It's a Zoom. This is where you're going to bring your friends that are either interested in the Mary Kay opportunity or that you want them to be interested in the Mary Kay opportunity, or you're a new consultant and you're doing a pearl party, 
meaning you've got a lot of people that we're going to share this with so you can earn your pearl jewelry from me. Um, you are all welcome to the tent attend regardless of if you have a guest or not. Um, we want to start making more regular events that your that your um, friends can join us on. Um, Thursday the 10th at 7 is Dream Big. That is the Zoom event that is put on by the Nationals. Um, we don't know who it is yet, but we'll, we'll find out. They'll tell us um, soon on that. Monday the 14th, we're going to do St. Patty's Looks and a tutorial for us, for beauty consultants and your guests, of course. That's going to be fun. Monday the 14th, we're going to do a look or two. So send some uh, colors out to your clients if you'd like, because everyone is welcome to join us on Monday the 14th for that. Um, Thursday the 17th on St. Patrick's Day at six o'clock, Cece and I are going to go into pretty in pink and do like a lucky look or something. Okay. So you can watch it, join it, whatever. Um, Saturday the 19th, we're going to do live and in-person makeovers in Waukesha for you and all of your fabulous friends. Cece's got a studio. She's working on coming together with that from 10 until 12. Okay, live and in person, you and all your friends. Um, Monday the 21st, nothing. It is spring break for lots of people. So do something if you want to do it because Mondays is Mary Kay Monday. So do something that night if you want anyway, but we don't have anything officially on the calendar. Friday and Saturday, the 25th and 26th is career conference in person and virtual. We've got 10 of you registered in person. We are very excited about that. And um, you've got until tonight at midnight to register for Career Conference. What is it, 85, 105? What is it? What is it? What is it? 110. It's 110. 110 retail, or 110 for you to pay. 110. You pay 110 actual dollars, okay, for Career Conference. And you get a $40 retail credit on your next subsequent Mary Kay order. So really it only costs you $70 to attend, right? And it's only about 50 bucks per person for the hotel in Madison. Um, I know not everybody is registered, you guys, and it's going to be exciting and it's going to be huge. And guess what? I'm going to be in Mexico and I'm going to miss it. And it's killing me. And my daughter is telling me to get over it. And I was trying <laughs> I didn't to say it like that. Huh? I didn't say it like that. <laughs> she kind of said it like that. <laughs> she said it in Cece's way. I heard it as mom, get over it. <laughs> so you guys, um, Carson is graduating from high school. Mason is graduating from college. And we have had this, when we figured out both boys had the same spring break, I was overjoyed. We wanted to give Car Mason a graduation gift as a college student. And we all knew what Carson's been through in the last three years. So we wanted to give him a really great send off. So unbeknownst to me, um, career conference was not scheduled yet. So I will be gone both weekends. So I couldn't even go to Minnesota or anywhere else. I could not go anywhere else to do it. And it's killing me because, you know, I want to be there. Um, and so my daughter said, get over it. Mom, 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 25 years you work this business so that you can take your kids on their special things. Go do your special thing. So it's still killing me not to be there. I just want you to know, okay? And we're going to be represented so well because we're the Courage Nation and we are the Courage, Courageous Cadillac Mac unit. And we're doing this, you guys. We're making a big old splash as if I were there, okay? As if I were there, okay? So that's the 25th and 26th. And when we come back, that Monday, the Reds are taking over. The Reds are taking over. So right now, Dory and Maggie and B-Rad and Sandy and Kelly Strasser are taking over. Now I know there's more of you that want to be read by then. I know there is. I know you want to go on stage at Career Conference. I know you want to help with a Red takeover. I know you do. So get that on your calendar, okay? And then Wednesday the 30th, Cece and I will do another peek into pink. This is Zoom. And for those of you that have been with us for longer than two years, two years, or maybe you even joined during the pandemic, Cece and I used to do this all the time, quick um, opportunities, 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I'm saying quick, but that was depending on how long people ask questions, okay? So 
those are going to be great. You guys, those are going to be on Zoom. And then Thursday the 31st is the last day of the month. And also it's another dream big, the one that the Nationals do with Heidi and um, Kim LaCour. We'll get you details on that. Questions? I got my first in-person party on Thursday this week. I am so excited. First in-person party and I don't know how long. I don't know how long. And you know what? It's my friend Danielle that you guys met at the beauty bar last week because when people come to stuff, they book stuff or they sign up. So we're having a party at my house on Thursday because I told her to come down to my pink boutique because it's so beautiful and I have everything set up here. So why wouldn't you want to come to the pink boutique? <laughs> Maybe you have a pink boutique at your house. You can just call it that, you guys. You don't actually have to have pink walls like I do. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Anybody have anything else they want to share, ask, comment on? Now is the time to do it. I'm really excited to have everyone at Career Conference. We. Me too. Me too, you guys. And we seriously need to work on our attendance. And if for any reason you're not going to go there virtually, then please register online to watch the general sessions because they're doing the general sessions. So attend in some way. I'm actually trying to figure out if I can watch it in Mexico and CC also basically told me not to. And I'm like, but what if I can turn it on? What if I can actually do it? Mom. She said that mom. But no. <laughs> okay. You guys, you know, I don't want to miss stuff. You know, we know you don't have to tell us. <laughs> That'll only be like the third company event in 25 years. Exactly. And it's a good reason. Second. Only the second company event in 25 years. I missed one seminar when I had Mason. He was 10 days old. And now he'll be graduating college. So it's all his <laughs> fault and it's great. <laughs> okay. Hey, who loves what they do so much that they're trying to figure out from vacation how they can still do it? Yeah, for right? real. For real. Like, that's not regular people. That is not regular people. Okay. All right. That's the, you know, you can be glad that you're following a leader after 25 years that is just as excited about the next 25 years. Okay. You guys, anything else? I'm looking at all your beautiful faces. All right. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Rise unit having a killer February. Mac unit having a killer February. I am so excited for you guys. Cece's got a Cadillac to earn rise unit. Cadillac to earn. Cadillac to earn. Mac unit, we got Scotland to go to. I've got to get my husband in the St. Mary and St. Finnan Catholic Church in Glen Finnan, Scotland on 9-11-2022. It is a half free day and it's a Sunday. And I'm like, babe, guess where we're going to mass on 9-11 this year? Glen Finnan, Scotland. We're going to a working church that's like a thousand years old. Not a thousand, but a lot. Yeah, <laughs> but we got work to do. Okay. Unwavering faith, extraordinary effort. All right. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great night. Have a great finish. Woo! Bye.